Hey everybody, this is Tim Tim Wonification bringing you a review on DC Universe Classics Wave 10 Power Girl. For those of you not familiar with Power Girl, she is supposed to be a um, alternate universe of Supergirl. She comes from a different timeline and uh, somebody from her timeline sent, sends her to our universe and when she comes to our universe her powers awaken and she becomes uh, just like Superman and Supergirl she's got all of their powers but her weakness is not kryptonite um, Superman is her guardian. He helped her become a super uh, heroine. So this is Power Girl. Um, as you can see, uh, let's go into detail. She's got this red cape made out of some kind of rubber that looks like it's uh, flowing in the wind. She's got the blue gloves and the blue boots. No, you know, bare legs. She's got the blonde hair. Uh, articulation. You can bend this top piece here backwards or forwards. You can move, you know, the arms forward and back. You can move her hands. You can bend her knees here. You can move her feet. You can make her kick. You can you can rotate her head. Uh, Power Girl does not come with any um, accessories for her. The only accessory that she comes with is a piece to build um, the Collect and Connect Imperex uh, action figure, which I have in a container with my other pieces that I am trying to build. So this is Power Girl. She is from Series 10. Um, if you're not familiar with Series 10, uh, Series 10 was the second Walmart exclusive um, series. Uh, Wave 10 that she comes from. It had uh, Batman in his... Um, all black outfit. It had the Joker, Robot Man, Beast Boy, Man Bat, uh, and Forager. And you build in Parex, which is one of Superman and the Legion of Superhero Villains. So, thanks for watching. Please leave your comments.